Good day everyone, welcome to Surfax Learning Channel. For today's video, pag-uusapan po natin about the introduction of kinematics, position, time, distance, displacement, speed, and average velocity. So yun po yung pag-uusapan po natin. Yung learning target po natin dito is to convert verbal description of physical situation involving uniform acceleration in dimension into a mathematical description. Okay? At kung bago ka sa channel na ito, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe at hit ang notification bell all. Uh, ito po ay part ng week 2 for general physics 1. I'm learning everyone. So, let's talk about position. Example, or for instance, we have point A and point B. So, point A and point B is at different position. So, let us have here a For example, this is our north, the east, west, south. Point A is at east, by west. However, point B is at east. Or located at west, and point B is located at east. So that's the position where we can locate a certain uh, quantity or a certain matter that's a position now referring to time syempre for, for us to indicate time here if this is point A let's say he is at rest at rest is a time which is equal to zero point B as well is at rest because point B is not moving time will change once a body moves for instance point E point A <laughs> will move to point B of course, it needs time for him to move from point A to point B. So it will take some time for point A move from point from his position or from its position to position B. Okay? Ito na ngayon papasok si time. And then, pertaining to distance pertaining to distance. So, yung, yung time travel, once si A nag-move to point B, the time refers to the tra time travel where point A moves to point B. Now, yung time is dependent on how long. How long point B from point C. So, we it is uh, we refer that as distance. So, nakadepende yung time kung gaano kahaba yung itatravel ng point A towards point B. So, kung halimbawa this is 2 kilometers so, syempre time will vary on how how fast point A moves to point B. Ibig sabihin, factor pa rin yung distance sa change ng time. Ah, yung, cha yung distance will make time change but depending pa rin dun sa kung gaano siya kabilis. Later, pag-uusapan po natin yan. Okay? So, saan naman papasok yung displacement? Displacement refers to a directed distance. When we say directed distance, 
for example point A is let's say ang distance niya from the origin ito yung origin natin is sabi natin 1 kilometer si point A is located at 1 kilometer west from my, my position halimbawa ito yung position ko si point B is located at let's say again 1 kilometer east naman okay and then as what I've said last time displacement is a uh, directed is a vector quantity a vector quantity is a quantity with magnitude and direction and then kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina yung time travel ni point A to point B will vary on, on how point A fast or kumbaga how speed he travels towards point B so dun ngayon papasok yung speed speed is defined as distance over time or d over t kita nyo pa ba? ayan nakikita pa so far And then, if we are, if we will use or determine its location, we will use displacement. Displacement. Displacement is a vector quantity. Diba? Paano nga ba nire-represent yung vector quantity? By arrow sign. So, displacement is equals to velocity over time. Velocity over time. However, speed is equals to, ang speed ay ganyan pa rin. T over time. So, you, uh, velo uh, speed uses scalar quantities of distance or length between point A and point B and time. However, displacement uses velocity. Bakit siya naging vel paano mo na malalaman ng velocity? Once the quantity symbol has an arrow up, it refer uh, it means that quantity is a vector quantity. So velocity over time. However, when we say average velocity, so pwede ko nang erase to, no? When we say average velocity, kanina, ito yung speed. Speed, mathematical express as d over t measured in meters per second. This is velocity. So ito ay speed. Velocity with an arrow because it represents a vector quantity which is equal to directed distance or displacement over time measured as well in meters per second. When we say average velocity average velocity Average velocity it refers to the change of time or the change of position over the change of time or delta D over delta T. So in our next uh, video lessons ay magbibigay pa ako ng mga examples about speed, velocity, and average velocity. 
since our learning target here is just to describe I'll show you a verbal description of these quantities so ito lang muna and by next video lessons I will provide as much uh, I will provide a, an example on how to do on how to calculate velocity speed and how to calculate average velocity so much for that Hindi nakatulong po ito sa inyo ang ating uh, short video lessons. Kung bago ka sa channel na ito, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe. Okay, notification bell on para updated ka sa mga susunod ko pong video lessons. Happy learning everyone. Bye-bye.